to Joby Joy Fitness with me, Joe, and to today's quick workout. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a 20 minute workout. If you have got the time, you can do it through twice, and then you've got your 40 minutes. But if not, you've got 20 exercises, one minute each, just gonna push through them and get out of here. So it gives you that opportunity. You're not gonna miss out on anything if you've only got time to do the 20 minutes. If you do enjoy it, as always, please like, share, subscribe, and then hit that bell, let me know you've been watching, and all the ways to get in touch on a more personal level, or to join the socials and let me see what you're doing are in the boxes below. You don't need any equipment today, it's just your body versus the world. So when you're ready, let's get going. Got a three pulse squat. One, two, three, and lift. One, two, three, and lift. Just kind of a warm up is integrated into, so in effect, 20 minute workout, and then you get to do it twice if you want to. And there's no breaks, I've just noticed. Seem to be in quite a lot. So just take a break if you need to for a uh, wipe or drink. Cool. Hopefully you've got your mat out. If you have, you're just doing a kind of skater across the mat. If you don't, if you haven't got your mat out for whatever reason, that's fine. You're just doing a kind of wide jump slide. Oh, look at this. Soft. It's such a little tiny pimple and I've managed to knock it and make it bleed. Hopefully, let's go. So just keep that moving. <laughs> See, blood, sweat and tears. Not cried yet, but there's <laughs> still time. on the floor. Great work. Just turning yourself over, stay down, I'm just going end to end so you can see my legs, but you can just roll over. You're just going to do leg raises. So I've got a little bend in my legs to protect my back. I have got forward flexion through my spine here again, that's optional. So you can lay your body flat. You can do one leg at a time. You can just adjust it as you need to. Sorry, just arm swings, 
wrapping round, just working into the spine. Just loosening off that back if you have just done granny presses and then leg raises. Sometimes you can get tension in the spine. So this is just a nice one. There is a good variety of challenge and ease, I think, with the exercises. So a minute doing this is quite nice. You're gonna walk your way towards the back of your mat again if you're using one, if not, just giving yourself space. You're gonna do a walk out to plank. So coming all the way out, hold in plank, and then back up and away. Just reminding you that plank is not this. This is a obviously down dog shape. It's not even really this. It's got to be hips down, head lifted, and then back. Okay, so just check your position. Make sure you are getting that bottom down. Feel the load going. You might feel it start to stress the lower back. That's when you really recruit the core. And because it is continually moving, there really shouldn't be pain. Because as soon as you kind of hit that position, you're coming back out of it again. Last one. Lovely, coming up. You're gonna take a lunge position and take the arms. So you've got a lift and a lower. So I've got my right leg forward, my left leg back. Lift and lower. So you're straightening and bending that front knee. We're not going to switch straight to the other side. We're going to take a knee lift with opposite arm punch. Okay, so swapping between the two, just kind of shaking it all out. Of course, you can go quicker, you can go slower. stopped bleeding now that's a good sign oh my Great work. You're going to take that lunge on side two. So your other leg forwards. And then lifting and lowering. Lovely, and then we're gonna do down dog to plank. So that down dog shake that I was just showing you about, you take that, set your hands in position, and then roll the body weight forward, stop, and then lift. Forward, stop, 
and lift. So this is a continual load through the arms and legs, whereas the walkout was a little bit more of a break in between. I do find I'm moving backwards a little bit. Feet come off the mat, sliding. Again, making sure that plank is perfect before you start to lift. So don't get stuck with your bum still in the air. Roll it down and lift. Okay. Start off with your right leg forwards. You can sort of turn to the side. Reach up, over to one side, over to the other and lift. Over, sweep through and lift. So bend, side lunge, bend, change, lift. So you're rolling your bottom through the middle and then lifting up tall. And hopefully started towards your right foot, but if you haven't, just remember that you started towards your left, because I'm sure you've only got a choice of two. Because we'll do it the other way in a second. So we've already done 10 minutes. And if you don't have much time, you could just do 10 minutes, well done. And then you turn your feet and your left leg is kicking through. So it's lunge to kick through, lunge to kick through. I am wobbling today. Ooh. Last one. Okay, set the feet up, squat down to calf raise. Squat down, calf raise. Obviously, if these combination of moves are too much for you, you could just take a squat or you could just take the calf raise. You don't have to link them if it just gets a bit too much. Well done. And then stepping yourself around, side two, side lunge, side lunge, raise. And then you should just be able to twist your feet and kick through with that back foot straight into it. I always find this one the most challenging. <laughs>
few seconds and you've done 15 minutes. You've got the final five minutes to do. And then you can get to repeat it all. Well done, calm down. You're gonna do like a high kneel to pull back. So just be careful on your knees. Leaning back. separating a bit much so adjust your position if you find that that happens get yourself back under control good and then we're coming into beast so you're gonna you can either have your toes pointing away lift the knees hold five four three two one and release all you can Tuck your toes under and lift the knees. Notice I'm not lifting the knees very high. So if you kind of look with my toes tucked under where my heels are, I'm just taking my knees so that my shins are parallel. If my feet are away, it's just a really little lift and hold, okay? If you can hold for longer than five seconds, try and keep that head lifted like a plank. Don't drop the head and round off the upper back. And it works into the core, okay? And just keep that moving as much as you can. <sighs> Lovely. Come on up, take the legs wide, reach the arms away. I'm taking my right arm to my left leg, coming through. You can have that hand on the hip. So stretching down. So very much a mix of, there's kind of yoga moves, there's kundalini moves, there's body con moves, there's just everything, pie eye moves, pilates stuff, everything in there today. Just a real mix and mash up, just showing you that, you know, everything can work together. So not straight to the other side, you're going to do a half jack to release in between. Obviously you could do a full jack if you want to. You could take the arms out if the arms are too much. The higher you move the arms, the greater the intensity. So, again, personal choice. Whew. Okay, we've got the last few seconds of this one and then we've got the last minute of this 20 minutes. And then we start again. Hopefully, you can't even remember what the first exercise was. It was that triple pulsing squat. Okay, over to the other side. But that's 20 continuous minutes, which is pretty good, you know? Normally, you'd have little breaks. We haven't done any of that today. If I'd have been really kind, I would have put a break in between the two cycles, but I haven't. It's just, again, it's continuous. So you need to determine if you want to take a break. Maybe have a drink, wipe down, join back in when you're ready. Mm. 
maybe what I will do actually. Let's just take a pause there. So between the two, just take a quick breath in, take a quick stretch, reach up. Just stretch off the legs. Just so we know how we're doing. Stretch out here, take the back stretch. Just a quick, quick, quick sort of stretch. Take the other one, arms behind. And then one breath in and release. Okay, so we just, when we're ready, hopefully we've had a little wipe and drink, we'll get going. Round two. So, taking it down, three, two, one, and lift. So slight variations this round, just to mix it up a bit. So instead of dropping for three and lifting, we're actually going straight down, pulsing, and rising. So very subtle, but just again, to vary it as much as I can for you. While still doing the same things. Pulsing it out proper and lift, rather than three drops at lift. So we did lateral jumps last round. What I'm thinking this round is take your right leg, jump forwards and back. And I'll tell you at 30 seconds when to change the leg. So you've got this kind of jump forwards and back. Use the edges of your mat to help you determine that big jump space. Of course, if you prefer the lateral jumps from round one, turn yourself side on and stay with them. Okay, if you're jumping with your right foot, change to left, left to right, you're 30 seconds in. If you're doing lateral, just keep going side to side. Nice and easy. when I sweat I get a runny nose as well so maybe it should be blood sweat and snot not blood sweat and tears oh. last couple of seconds okay leg raises this time we're going to do scissors or you can do those double raises so one keep them moving option is to do those double raises Draw the navel in towards the spine, lift the pelvic floor. Or you've got these scissors. Just for variation, 
reaching round over the top. So again, personal choice. Now we did knee lifts with the opposite arm, so we're going to do stay on the same side and we'll change at 30 seconds. If you prefer the alternating, you can go alternating, but this is your variation for this round. Whew. Five, four, three. Two, if you're not doing alternating, change now, change side. Punch as you lift, good. Opposite arm to leg, good work. Ten seconds. two, side two, lift straight in, lower bend. Okay, down dog to plank. Your change on this one is to add in a side plank. So you would be down dog, plank, open. Down dog, plank, open. Down dog, plank, 
open. Remember you can put that knee down, down dog, plank, knee down, twist to the side. Step back into dog, plank, knee down, open to the side. So don't strain your back, you don't need to. Knee can come down. Okay. And of course you don't have to do the side open at all. That is a option. Well done. Okay, we're going to do a side lunge. So from the centre, step side, lift high. So going on one leg, so slightly different again to the last round where we did the kind of pio version of ankle, ankle sweep over the top.
Now, for the life of me, this next one, I can't really think how we would change it. It was the kneeling kind of camel to pullbacks. But I'm thinking standing leg curls is going to stretch the quads and use the hamstrings, which is a bit similar to what we were doing and changes it a little bit. If you don't like it as an alternative, come back to kneeling, do those pullbacks, no problem at all. Swing the arms through. This one feels a bit more cardio, so you get a bit more maybe breathy, heart and lungs, a bit more sweaty. Depends what you want. Stay with that kneeling one if you prefer. Okay, the beast is coming up. We did a static beast before where we held for a few seconds. We're going to do walking beast this time. So if you've got your mat out, as I say, come down, end of your mat. Lift your body up and then walk your beast forwards on your mat. And then you can shimmy back or you can walk your beast back. If you can't do that, just take the static beasts again, whichever you prefer. I just find I can't push the beast back for the love of my money. I don't know what it is, but going backwards with the beast, I find impossible. Well done. Nice work. Well done. And again. And back. Well done. Okay, coming up. Instead of jacks, we're going to do pushbacks. So alternating. Arms swinging forwards, push the foot back. If you prefer, you can do those full jacks. Or you can do the half jacks again. Excuse me. two minutes left now so we did right leg when we did left leg on the touches with that was twisting across and using the waist so although this feels very different it's actually very similar you're going to come down and you reach around to one side Oblique crunches, side one. I shouldn't have laid this way around. The sun's starting to blaze in through the windows. I can't open my eyes. I need a little sunscreen shade on or a pair of glasses. Whew. Hopefully that means it's going to be a good day. All right, straight onto side two here. Oblique crunches on side two.
as they say, is a wrap. Take a big stretch. Excellent. Come on up. Let's just take a breath in or two. Well done. Breath in. Reach up, interlace the hands and just stretch that body out. And bring the energy down. 